What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial. We're doing some more GB Studio, and this is going to be almost like a little mini series putting together what GB Studios refers to as a shooter genre of game. And by shooter, they because it is 2D, it's going to be a side scrolling shoot 'em up type of game. This one taking place in the air. And we'll go ahead and get started. This first part of this series is going to be showing you the images that I created for this and we'll bring it into the game and we'll import the levels and do those kind of things so you can kind of see how to start that up. Uh, I did already create the image sprites. You know, they're, they're not the greatest art, but it'll be something to show you what I put together and we'll, we'll get this thing, we'll get this show on the road. All right, so as you can see here, I have a candy cane sprite. I have some clouds for a tile map. And for the sprites, these are 16 by 16 pixels. And using the color scheme for GB Studio, uh, that one was an elf. Here's a football. And... A Santa on a sleigh, a turkey in an airplane. And creating the, I used Piskel, P-I-S-K-E-L. You can use it in the browser or download the app. It's free. It's pretty awesome. A good way to make image sprites. And then for the levels, I brought in my tile map of my clouds into this program called Tiled. And you can download this for free also. It's it's free to use. Pretty awesome. I have my basic level outline here. And then I do have an area where the boss battle will take place down the road. That means we are ready to create this game. Uh, opening up GB Studio, and as you can see at the time of this tutorial, I'm using GB Studio 4.1.3, and the project name is Turkey Day, and the path, I already created a folder and put those images into the folder uh, down here that's called Shooter, and for the template, I want a blank template. I don't like to use uh, the templates in here. I like to just create my own. Uh, or to build mine from scratch. Go here and create a project. And now we're into GB Studio. Uh, first part I want to do here is go to the sprites and we'll import these in. Works a little bit better. You kind of have to dual screen this or dual panel this however you want to say it and we will begin with our character i'm just going to click and drag it from here and bring it over here into gb studio and the premise of this game you know i, I like to make a lot of these kind of whatever season that it's at just just because so uh since it is Nearly Thanksgiving. I'll probably actually not quite finish these tutorials before Thanksgiving, but you never know. I might. Um, the fighting off Christmas too early. We have this heroic turkey here that's fighting off Santa's elves and Santa and holding them off until uh, Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, whatever. Uh, just a fun idea for a game with that. Uh, I brought in the turkey here and. I want this to be four directions. I could go fixed direction and movement. Let's go with that. And as you can see, when it's idle, it already has these frames that I imported put in there for me, which is awesome. But then for moving, when I click on moving, it doesn't bring those in. So I just have to click and drag, and it allows me to place it up here, and then I'll create another one here. These animations are nothing too wild and crazy, just 
something to make it fun to look at as we're testing this. And you don't have to have any animations in yours if you're trying yours out for the first time. Uh, basically, I have a propeller that is kind of spinning on this plane, and then the turkey's head is kind of bobbing up and down uh, through that also. All right, the turkey is entered in there. Uh, the next thing I have is going to be these elves. These in. And I think the elf is also going to be fixed direction and move. And then we'll do the same kind of thing. Have our first frame there on idle. See this one here, it put the last frame in there. So this one here, I will go. This one here. Have this. And I will go back just one more here. Uh, so kind of see how this looks. And it goes back to the beginning. Now we'll do the same thing here for the moving frames. Always a little bit time consuming getting this started. Uh, Santa will bring in Santa, and Santa is going to be my favorite sprite simply because it's direction and move. Sure, we may change that one later since he'll be a boss, but either way, we don't have any special animation for Santa. All right, now we have, that's our characters of the game. Then we have our things that are going to be thrown. One of them being a candy cane. And we can say fixed direction and move for this one. But these candy canes are never actually going to be, get to the, Right one here. There we go. Extraction and movement. Uh, these are only going to be moving, but it did already generate them in there for us. So Santa is going to be able to throw his candy canes at us. And then our projectile that we will be able to throw will be the football. Extraction and movement for the football. Moving, and I just have a simple spiral motion going with this, with this ball here. All right, we have our image sprites in, or actors as GB Studio likes to call them. And then we can go here to images. And in here, we will bring in our level. And then we will also bring in the level boss. 
Sometimes these show up in here. Sometimes they don't right away. It is a little bit strange. A uh, little, little glitchy on here uh, with this and the new. I'm sure they're working on those kinks through this. Okay. Now we can go up here to the drop down menu and go back to game world. Let's start here and create our first scene. And I don't want my level boss for the first scene. I want my level. And just by holding down control and using the mouse wheel, I can zoom in on there. And if I hold down the mouse wheel and click and drag, then I can do that also. This little button here, which is our player sprite, I'm going to move this to the right. And for the scene here, I want this to be a shoot 'em up. And then here for the player sprite sheet, I'm going to click on this. And now I have all these to choose from. I want to choose the turkey. Let's see how this works if we test it right now. As you can see, this level auto scrolls for you and is automatically moving our character from left to right. And we can move it up and down. You can see the animation on there. And that's kind of the most basic part of this of this feature of this game with the shoot 'em up. Now, one thing we can do to add a little more immersion to this, just to make it look a little more engaging or to make it look like it has a little more depth in here, is we can change the rate at which these background elements move. To do that, we just go over here into scene one and it says background and there's this little layers icon. When I hover over it, it says parallax. We'll click on that. And you can have up to three layers of parallax or no parallax, which makes everything move at the exact same speed as your character. But if I choose three layers, you can see as I hover over these, it shades in a different region of the screen. And each region has a different speed to it. So the by default, and we can't change this one even if we wanted to, the main level is going to move the same speed as the character, which is a speed of one. And we have the second region. Everything in there is going to move, is going to scroll at half the speed. And then in our final region here, it's going to move at a quarter of the speed. So it gets half slower each time. Now you can click this drop down menu and you can change those different uh, percentages. Or you can even say fixed position if you don't want it to move at all, for example. Um, but this is kind of how you set that up. So here I'm going to say I want this middle area to be a little bit bigger. And I want this top area maybe to include all of these upper level clouds. So I'll select those right there. Then this middle area, just to double check, I have those larger clouds selected in there. And then down here at the bottom, this is just that lowest level of clouds uh, that is down just at the bottom of the screen. Okay, I'm going to save that. And then we'll take a look and see how that changes things here. All right, and now as our character's moving, you can see the clouds down here a little bit faster. And it just adds a little more, I don't know, it's just a little more interesting to look at. and kind of brings you into the screen a little more a little bit more than it otherwise would. And there we have it. Um this kind of takes us to a good stopping point. We didn't do a lot in this tutorial, but I at least wanted you to see like what images I was using and what tools I used to create those. I wanted to mention those. I wanted to show you how to bring those into GB Studio just in case you haven't done that before on here. And then uh to bring in our first level and then to add some parallax scrolling to it.
in our next tutorial, we're going to start bringing in enemies that we can dodge and do some fun things with that. Hopefully, this is something that was useful for you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or you get stuck as you're working on your own version of this, let me know. And then I can help you out with those. And we'll just, like I said earlier, we'll continue to build this game until you have some tools in your toolbox that you can kind of use to add to your own games and create your own variations of these down the road. Like and subscribe if you want more con if you want more content similar to this. And again, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully we'll catch you on the next part of this little mini series on GB Studios.